What is going on, guys? Why is it here? Coming to you with a recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was a random midweek versus predominance. A uh, great matchup, actually. Really, uh, really look forward to this one. Um, as you see, we barely snuck away with the victory 86 85, and to be honest, was not one of our best wars. Um, I thought for sure predominance was going to be able to get them nail the last two. Uh, again, though, as midweek, so they, they had five missed attacks. They probably could have got the win because I think they had one town on 12. Yeah, that didn't make an attack. You look at our side. I mean, they could have at least tied. I don't know what percentage-wise it was. 96. Nah. Would have been close, you know? So... They would have been able to at least force a percentage, um, not 100% what happened. Uh, the rest of their attacks, though, missed were two of their Town Hall 10s. So obviously they weren't really going to do much against those 11s and then the Town Hall, low Town Hall 10s as well. So uh, again, great war. Thanks for having us. Good, uh, good midweek uh, practice for sure. Uh, just going to jump right in here. Didn't have any 12v12s, unfortunately. Predator needs to step up his game here. So uh, we'll hopefully uh, he's saving it for CWL. Uh, coming up this week, uh, really looking forward to it. We actually have a really good other midweek matchup against LP4 Hades. And uh, yeah, that's going to be a doozy. We do have a slight advantage, uh, but hey, they're an awesome client. So this is uh, this is going to be a really good war. Hopefully we are up to the challenge. Uh, I'm going to sort of skip some of these bottom ones, these low, you know, obviously no talent lines, low tiers. But uh, here we go. We got uh, Neon showing her stuff, the usual queen walk bitch. And she is just going to go ahead with, she, I believe, you know, at least what I look for in this attack is she realizes both of these air defenses are probably all, in fact, all of these air defenses are reachable. Um, this one poses a little bit of threat when those healers drag over this section, uh, but it doesn't really matter by then. You're going to see that wall wrecker go in there. Nice little freeze. Just get everything on that furnace tower. Let it go down. Wall wrecker is going to get great value coming up. Poison down over the CC. Just missing that queen, but no big deal. Second rage goes down. Pushing those bowlers in as these few witches sort of working their way around the outside. Queen is just fine. Heal spell down. Jump spell to unlock everything and let everything out. There it is. Jump spell is down. Furna Tower is down. Everything's going to start to continue to move through this base now. And you're going to see this work out. Bowlers end up jumping through and taking care of that air defense before the Queen even gets there. So right on. Uh, the Witches do lose their, um, lose their healers on this side, but no big deal. See, really, there's only an Archer Tower, a Mortar, and a Tesla to go. Way too many troops for this base to survive, and it is GG. Nice job, Neon. Just kills bases with this attack. Like, I I don't know. I'm starting to get it with Frozen Witch a little bit. Uh, we're going to show a few of uh, Erickson's attacks. Uh, I tried a couple Dragon attacks this war. I had one really close one. I had it if I just had maybe 15 more seconds left in the raid. But fortunately, that does not... Count. We're going to check out Eric, speaking of Frozen Witch. Here we go. So, idea 14, which is we're going to drop seven on either side here. Sorry, going down here. Uh, he's going to basically come in right at this first Inferno Tower. Kind of the idea here is just protect the wall record. You want to let the witches, you know, the, the things you need to be concerned about is the healers for the witches. And are they going to path into air defense so that they lose? And then conserve your wall record. You want the wall record to open up as much of that base so you can get your king, your queen, your whatever in there. You get those extra skellies um, going right in through this base. You want to take care of the heroes. Gut out all the stuff that the witches on the outside can't reach. And the witches are just going to sort of do the ring around the rosy, take care of everything. Freeze is still. Look at how much health is left in that wall record. Just beautiful. Really, I think his goal was to make sure this compartment gets open, but it even opens up this section at the back gets into that expo chamber. So he's going to go ahead and drop a rage and a heal right over top of that wall record here in two, one, go. Uh, I've been dropping my rage first and I think it's a mistake because sometimes your bowlers can just, boom, gone, disappeared. Like, it, it, it's like rage, heal, and they're dead. And you're like, what? But uh, <laughs> not for Erickson. He's a master of this attack. So in he goes. Uh, healers do lock onto the queen, which is kind of nice. She's going to do a little work at 12 o'clock. Still has to get rid of this tricky Inferno Tower down at this bottom. With all these skellies, everything's sort of moving in. Now this witch is sort of locked on. You're going to see it start doing, slowly doing damage to that uh, Inferno Tower. Nice little freeze. Take care of that jazz. 
going to fast forward this a touch because now the three witches are locked on. The firm tower is going to go down. There it goes. Skelly's in all over the place. Only three point defenses down here at the three o'clock section that are going to try and stop it. But it ain't going to happen. That's a three in the bag for my man, Eric. I think he actually had a six pack. Oh, little freaking fly. Got him, though. Got him. That is the key. Beauty. Nice job, Eric. All right, moving in. I think this is my, uh, the things our buddy Smash. Smash is back from the uh, back from my old days, and uh, no G. So uh, this is his ten, and you're gonna see him go in just basically with a a standard kind of go ho, and he's gonna use the wall wrecker on one side. I believe there's bowlers in there, and he is just gonna sort of use the golem on the other side and just kind of create the basically gut out uh, core out a good chunk of this base and get the heroes in behind. Take care of the defensive queen. Take care of the CC. Rage goes down. And yeah, it's bowlers. That's right. So bowlers just one shot that defensive queen. I love that. His, unfortunately, it's a hound in the CC, but it doesn't really matter. The bowler's under rage. Going to do a little bounce damage there. Get that expo taken care of. Almost taken care of, rather, but it doesn't really matter. Queen's going to mop up these pups and do a little bit more damage here before the uh, kill squad is done. And then he's got this nice little V-shape again. He's just got to... Worry about the hogs here, 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 and here. And he's got four heals for that, so looking good. Queen's going to step up and do a little bit more damage. He's about to start his attack. I think he just wants this to go down. Yeah, here come the hogs. Queen's going to take care of the air defense. Hogs are just going to path cannon right to the Inferno Tower. The rest of them in, basically at the 6 o'clock. Take care of this stuff. One heal over the Inferno, one heal over 6 o'clock. Beautiful. Keep all those hoggies up under those bombs. Get one more kind of going in over the core here. I think there's a bomb in between, in behind those Teslas. And then another another for the 9 o'clock. He's looking good. There goes that next heal. Keep all those hoggies just looking pretty at this point. One more heal down here. So many hogs. His queen is still alive. I cannot believe that. A little fast forward action just to clean up now at this point. Had a boy mix smash. Boom. Excellent. What we got next? Is it 20? Yeah, a little bunch here. Good old mixer. Going in with the Lalo. And five healers. Oh, no, that was a bully. My bad. That's not the one I want to show. Mix has got two accounts, and both the names are, like, the exact same. And it fucks us up, so fuck you, Mix. It. <laughs> he knows I love him. Anyways, crossing that one out. Uh, so, Cambria. We did have a few 1.0 guys hanging around um, after our family scrim that bored with us, which was kind of nice. Uh, so you're going to see Cambria bring three lava hounds, 24 balloons, and a blimp full of jazz. Really just wants to get the uh, suicide heroes in, take care of all the defenses in this row. You know, drop a bunch of haste sort of in a, on an angle, get everything angled in onto that inferno tower. Just really nice pathing for these balloons. Going to work everything back up, going counterclockwise. Gets the rage over top of the queen and barely takes it down, which is kind of nice. Those pups finish things off. Has enough balloons here at the end. Take care of business. Down it goes, absolutely crushing this base. Nice job, Cambria. Cambria? Cam Cambria? Cambria. Cambria. That only makes sense. All right. So, Erickson completing his sixer here. Another ice witch. You can see the exact same thing. He's going to go ahead and drop seven witches here. Seven witches up here. Get his funnel. Get the wall wrecker in. Protect the wall wrecker so he can make sure he reaches sort of this last kind of line of defenses on the back side here. And once it happens, it's GG. You got seven freezes. Make sure you use them, guys, because if you don't use the freeze early on, nice. Look at the stretch on that freeze. Gets the Expo, Architar, and Inferno. Really nice job. Gets it again. Poison is going to go down over the top of the uh, Baby D, regular D, and the Balloon. Good, another freeze, keep things going, and another freeze, like, use those freezes, still has three freezes, so he's looking good at this point, he's got a couple, you know, two more freezes now for this back end, gonna let this wall wrecker get through that last set of walls, looking good, heal first, raid second, bowler starts smashing shit up, looking good at this point, 
Really just wants that Inferno Tower to go down. Does that last freeze on the Inferno? Make sure it goes. Got to get that Expo down. Queen steps up, starts finishing stuff off. Beautiful. A little bit of action up here, right? That Troll Tesla, but it doesn't stand a chance. You can see sort of all these last few defenses. Everything's in range of these witches anyways, even though that still has his heroes in there doing work. Queen's got the ability. Beautiful. Only a matter of time now. Smashy, smashy. Only a cannon to go. Just a matter of working through the rest of these trash buildings. And it is a three star in the bag for my buddy Eric. And that is his sixer. The fr <laughs> Frozen Witch sixer, man. It is it is real tough to defend. That's what I'm finding. Here's my boy King. Going in with more of a standard kind of um, bitch attack. Going to go ahead and break seven, which is four healers. Goes ahead and gets two healers down with some witches. Nice little wall breakers in. Make sure the skellies go in and start taking care of this stuff. And you kind of want them to funnel up. Going to go ahead and drop the rest here at 3 o'clock. A couple more bowlers. A couple more healers. Let them do all their work here. And go ahead and get that wall wrecker in right away. Just open things up. Go right in at this Inferno Tower. Right in at these Teslas. Bowlers spread out on either side now. In come the heroes. You kind of want to drop them deep and then sort of walk them up and in. He goes ahead and freezes the Inferno. Uh, does have that poison, doesn't quite use it in time, so he does lose his wall wrecker. It's so quick, like if you're not paying attention to your wall wrecker, it can get busted up very quickly. But if you do, you can get it really deep. He probably could have got through the next set of walls if he had sort of timed the poison and the freeze a little better. It doesn't really matter. So he does have that jump, opening things up. Once he's in this large compartment, it's only a matter of time. Down goes the Inferno, a few more skellies. Got to get that defensive king out of the way. Bowler's going to jump in on a rage and smash that up. Looking good now at this point, really. There's only these backside defenses to go. They are mostly in range now. In fact, they all are all in range of these witches. Just has to work through some of these walls. Only a matter of time now at this point. Down goes the Wiz Tower. And we are looking good. Beautiful. Witches take care of business on that Arch Tower. And that is 3 4 King. Beauty. All right. So ice, I'm going to start this one and I got to step away for one second. My daughter's playing like outside my window and it got eerily quiet. And when there's six year olds playing and it gets quiet, that's never a good thing. But anyways, very back. Watch ice bring this Lalo. It is a beautiful. Go ahead, bring that blimp in. Doesn't quite get quite the value I don't think you want out of this blimp, but really the air defense and Inferno, you're looking good. Gets the Tesla too out of the way, but one sec. Huh. Well, I'll be damned. Silence is always, always a scary thing for a parent. All right, so it goes ahead and gets the suicide heroes in. Baby D did take a bunch of air skellies too. That was kind of nice. Baby D is just going to keep working. And you're going to see already has this sort of V shape uh, around the base, which is always exactly what you want when you use hogs or loons. Um, you're just going to get that that linear path and going through the base. So let those heroes do their thing, work through some of that high hit point crap. Kind of nice to get that out of the way. They really did their job now at this point. It's a matter of just making sure that he's just leaving defenses. You see it's like defense, 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 defense. Once he gets stuff in here, it's just all defenses, right? There, there's nothing, no, no travel time for the balloons really at all. He's got five haste. So you're going to see this going from 6 o'clock. Bam, bam. Couple of... Lava Hounds, things looking pretty. One more Lava Hound. Kind of an interesting deployment here. The, the, that was a different choice. Like I, I probably would have started from the other side, or maybe even started from up here, but that's why I'm not very good at Lalo, probably. And you're going to see these Lava Hounds sort of end up at this sort of core air defense that makes things a little bit tricky, but he's got just enough balloons over here at 9 o'clock take care of this stuff, and then they work in towards this air defense. He has a heal spell with one more haste, going to work through these all, like, look how close all these defenses are. That haste is going to um, push all those balloons on everything. Just got to get that sweeper down out of the way. Finally, that air defense goes down too. Things are looking good. Haste pushes everything back on those remaining few defenses. He's got pups, uh, minis, and his king still doing cleanup all over the place. We're in the bag from a man. Ice. Sexy. All right, Veggie Boy. Going to this base, I tried to drag. This is the, I was saying, this is the base that I dragged and um, didn't quite get it. Um, I thought it was a really well-planned attack. I thought it was going to go better. 
this compartment right here, um, I zap quaked this stuff. I got all four of these out of the way, did huge damage to the sweeper still and that wizard tower, which my triple zap and earthquake. And then I sent in my blimp and I took out this entire compartment with my blimp. You're gonna see Veggie make the adjustment. He just goes a Lalo, does the same blimp, does not get the expo and ends up coming away with the three here, which is really nice. I think I only had, I think I had a 95%, 93%, something like that. Um, so it was only a matter of like seven more buildings. I don't even think there's defenses left, but unfortunate because I don't get too many three stars. So, you know, it would have been nice for me to come with that one, but is what it is. I'm slowly learning, slowly getting better, which is nice. You're going to see here, he doesn't even get the expo, which uh, I thought was pretty interesting because I got the expo on my attack, but goes ahead, gets the funnel going. Wants to get the suicide heroes in now. It's basically just going to take care of all this stuff. Make sure the clan castle gets taken down. Poison goes down. Kill up all those skellies. And you can target onto that witch. Baby D's getting targeted now too. He's going to have to hit that king rage here in one second. There it is. Great. Mortar down. Take care of that wizard tower. And then the Lalo is kind of interesting now at this point. He's got he's got the two skellies for the queen compartment, which is nice. But you're going to see sort of um, the uh, all the all the defenses doing damage to the loons are sort of separated from this core. Like this core really only has the sweepers and the two air defense. Um, so it goes in and gets hits that queen ability. It doesn't end up doing much. I think he ends up losing the queen really even before he gets in. Yeah. There it is. Fortunately, the queen goes down. So go ahead and drops the uh, three balloons here, hopefully to take care of that expo. Haste all around. He's going to sort of just kind of work into these two very close air defense um, and then realizes this clan castle makes the pathing linear. Like it kind of rounds the band around the clan castle so they can kind of come clockwise and then come back over to, um, to three o'clock. So, looking good. Down goes the expo. Down goes all that stuff. You're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. About Now, the hounds cut across, but these sort of few balloons you drop on the expo really just jump in and help out. They take care of the sweeper. Get right in on top of that air defense, which is key, because down goes the air defense, and all these balloons coming in rage. Down goes that last air defense. Really, only the expo, archer tower, and inferno tower, or, or two archer towers, rather, are the all that can kill his, his rage. He's got five minis. He's going to get down here for cleanup in one moment. But absolutely crushes the base. Nice job, Veggie. I'll take some credit because of the blimp there. <laughs> God, I hate when your balloons chase a king around. It's so freaking annoying. Bam. Nice job. Right, moving on up, we got Atoma. So speaking of 1.0 legends, this guy's been around for a long, long time. Uh, you're gonna see him come with the minor hit, the only minor hit of the war, I think. Uh, but what I found interesting was how he fights with this queen here. He eventually does lose his queen. I think when she finally engages the king down here, but look at the work this queen does. There's a lot of work through some of the stuff. Gets the king down, make sure she, she is funneled in. Has uh, nine wall breakers. I think he wanted to open the wall, but doesn't mind the small bomb. Because if he was able to open that second wall, she would have sort of walked in and done serious damage. So she goes the other way. But you're going to see him fight, fight, fight with this queen. So uh, poison's down. Got to get that other rage down. Just working through the clan castle. Just barely hanging on. Down goes that cannon. Going to go ahead and work on that expo. Once the expo goes down... Things are looking a little better, but she's got to work through a wall now. She stands there on this wall, does get the wall breaker in that does not quite blow up the wall. Now, he wanted her to walk across, maybe get that air defense, uh, air defense, inferno, and all that stuff out of the way up here. But is what it is. So you're going to see the wall wrecker go in. Kind of an interesting choice for the wall wrecker. Just basically moves it right on into this clump, and down it goes, and out come a bunch of max miners. To join the crowd and basically just got to work through now this section of the base because um you know this queen is now taken out basically all the way she's still barely hanging on and she does die here just by, by almost doesn't die actually surprisingly almost kills that king but not quite doesn't really matter though got way too many miners in on the base now and they're just gonna have to work around in this uh, counterclockwise rotation 
work through all these remaining defenses, but look how spread out they are. They're all killing these defenses. Still has a heal. He doesn't even need the heal. Really, there's only a few point defenses, and there's far too many miners at this point to do a thing. Looking good. Couple more buildings. Why not drop the heal? Just because. boy, Toma, very nice attack. Pleasure to have you over in 2.0. Right, so Bert's going in now. Number is this 12? They're getting close, a few more attacks. Bert's gonna go ahead and drop the queen walk here, get the baby D in help a note. Wants to walk the queen down along this section, does have a goal. Uh, with his wall record here, and then uh, basically just a standard bitch attack from that point. Only four witches though, thought that was kind of interesting. Goes in and gets the funnel down. Gets the witches in. Skelly's going to get in there and start doing damage. Uh, uses the golem there. Perfect timing. Right? He's going to sort of draw the heat from that wizard tower. Let those skeletons do their thing. <laughs> and then let's say everything. He's going to move right down into this core. Everything's going to look pretty at this point. Not many places for the troops to go. Right? Really just wall wrecker has not taken any damage. This this actually, this was the raid. The wall wrecker destroys so much. King goes for a walk here because the storage and cannon are still there. But it doesn't matter. He's got the queen in there. The wall wrecker's still at like full health. It goes all the way, I think, to this inferno tower compartment, or at least like at least somewhere up in here. Um, absolutely crushing it. Queen's just got to mop up those pups. Poison is down. He's got the uh, bowlers in out of the wall wrecker, or sorry, bowlers in now. Wall wrecker is about to burst. There it goes. More bowlers jump on out. He's got a couple valks in there as well. Rage goes down. Valks are going to bust open that compartment. Just let everything out. Help those hoggies out. A few hogs in on those Teslas. It's all there really is to go on this base. Another archer tower uh, and a mortar. And that is it. A little bit of cleanup. Burt's just killing it. Nice job. Bam. All right. Man, I so do not trust this uh, quiet playtime outside. Let me go do another check. So we do have Bert, uh, JC yeah, going in on 11. I'm going to start this one. I'll be back in a sec. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's what I thought. All right. So JC is going to go in. Pulls out the clan castle. Gets the suicide heroes going in for 12 o'clock. Poison goes down. Just take care of business. Baby D to help things out. Just quickly kill that other baby dragon. Down it goes. See you later. Serve a little bit of that king. <laughs> He's going to see 28 balloons with a blimp full of balloons and three lava hounds. And basically lallows this entire base. So in comes the blimp. I think it was balloons of the blimp. Yeah, there it is. Uh, really good value on this. Wizard Tower, the Warden Defense, uh, the Double shot on the on the other wizard tower and the Tesla does not quite get that sweeper out of the way, which would have been so awesome, or at least not right away. And finally down it goes, but really good blimp on that. Took out that whole section. Gonna go ahead and just sort of now work everything again. He sees this dead zone here. Dead zone creates this pathing for the balloon. So he's gonna go ahead, work everything down counterclockwise up towards this deadly chamber here. Doesn't quite, I think this was the attack. He doesn't get the uh, defensive queen out of the way. And she does some serious work. This You're going to sort of see the end of this raid gets a little dicey, but uh, comes away with it nonetheless. Skelly spell is down. Just not enough to distract the queen. See, everything sort of moves away from the queen. And the Skellies don't take her out. So it becomes a bit of an issue. He's got a, the defensive king is in there as well. Goes in and drops that heal spell now. Just wants to let everything work in. Make sure that last air defense goes down. It does, but you see this defensive queen going to town on these balloons. There's just far too many of them. It's so nice that Grand Warren just was like, oh, maybe I'll attack the queen. No, no, no. I'm just going to follow the balloons and get iced by the queen. But you can see this queen is just doing work. She's defending like a champ, but unfortunately for her, not quite enough. He does have his queen coming in. Few more finally gets that defense queen now. A few minis and a pop finish that clan castle off. That is a three in the bag for JC. Nice job, man. Our 11 v 11 game was on point. That sort of saved the war for us, I think. Um, we had a ton of dips we had to do. Like I said, it was not our best performance this war, but uh, for the most part, 11 v 11s were very nice. Uh, I see Agent Zero going in. Another bitch attack. 
Uh, very standard stuff, right? Get a couple healers down, which is down. Go ahead, drop the giants down the middle. Add that little bit of extra tanking. Get the wall wrecker in there. Start opening things up. Who has, has two freezes here? Uh, I think he ends up using them sort of on the double expo. Was good. Let's use these freezes. Heal spells down though. Let's everything in. Eagle cannon goes down. Does not use them on the expo. Still has the two freezes. Maybe for the back end inferno. So this must be up. There's the first one looking good at this point. There's the second one looking good. Go ahead, get that queen in there. Really just needs to bust into that town hall compartment now. Just make sure that max inferno tower goes down because it is wrecking shit at this point. Boom, boom, boom. Looking good. Finally, the wall goes down. Queen gets in there with Witch and the Warden. Down it goes. Town Hall and an Arch Tower remain. See you later. And that is a three stop in the bag for JC. Nice job, man. Bam. Uh, all right. I got a lay. Another bitch stack. Uh, no healers with this one. Goes and just drops that wall of giants, wall of witches, wall of bowlers, <laughs> and that's it. Drop your spells. I mean, he goes ahead and drops the uh, drops the wall wrecker sort of right in the middle. He just sort of wants to walk it up through this eagle cannon compartment, uh, but sort of like risky with this base because I find like all these compartments are going against the grain with the wall wrecker, so it has a ton of stuff to get through. But really, if you protect it well enough. Um, you can get it pretty far, and I think it does get through this next big chunk of wall right there. No, not quite. That's right. Um, but you are going to see this jump. Why, why did I find that jump strange? Am I crazy? No, that, that was a different attack I'm thinking of. It must be a different attack. Uh, yeah, because Lay has another, Lay has another uh, three star. Uh, but two jumps, right? Open up the rest of the base. No big deal. Really just has to make sure that Inferno Tower goes down over here. Few point defenses kind of under the town hall. Um, does have enough units going through the core here that is probably not going to matter at this point. Down goes the arch tower. Queen's going to go ahead and finish off these other arch towers, and it's just these three Teslas to go. He's got the king in there doing tanking, warden protecting stuff, four witches moving in, way too many skellies for these defenses. Down they go, down it goes. Peace out. Nice hit late. Bam. Alright, a man war bell. So different attack. He's a bit of a lalo, um, but it also brings a golem, a few bowlers, bunch of wizards. Right, he just really wants to uh, get a good little push with this kill squad and his heroes. And I remember, I think he comes in. There it is. There's the golem. Golem's gonna move in. Nice little wall of wizards, kind of moving in. This is very, very standard. It's like old school. He uses the king on the other side, basically as the golem. Let's get that outside arch tower out of the way. Looking good. It is gone. Tesla pops. And I don't think that was planned. So he probably wouldn't have done that top side like that. But it goes ahead and hits that king ability here in a second. Wall Wrecker's in. Really wants to get um, this whole 9 o'clock section out of the base. If he can carve out the 9 o'clock, he's got 12 to 3 to 6 to worry about. And that's all he's going to have to do, right? Two Lava House, 21 Balloons. Get a huge push still. Still has the Wall Wrecker going in. It's going to help. Uses the uh, warden ability there. Keep the wall record going. Down goes the eagle. Um, things are going to talk on. Uh, lock on. Sorry to that defense. Arch queen. Down she goes. Go ahead and get that. Um, rage down for the bowlers. Rage down for everything. Uh, does uh, lose the wall record now at that point. So a bunch more bowlers pop out. Doesn't really matter. Queen's going to step up and help out with those air defense. Looking good now at this point. Still has that queen ability. Bunch of balloons moving in. And again, see? So 6 to 3, up to 12. And he's looking good. Still has two more haste, has a freeze, and a heal spell. He's got the heal spell sort of for this back end wizard tower and Tesla combo. Another haste to get those other balloons in. Nine o'clock apartment's about to say goodbye. There it goes. <clears throat> it's got to move on over to uh, the next compartment, get up through 12. So there goes the heal spell. A little bit early, actually. I thought he was going to save it for... Um, Sort of this back area. So when, when the Wiz Tower is going at your balloons and you got those zaps coming in from the uh, Teslas, it can be trouble, but it has that free spell for just very that. Over top the Inferno, over top of the Wizard Tower. Looking good now. Just got to work through those last couple. See how close that was? In fact, he does lose them all. He's got far too many pups and his queen's still intact to take care of that stuff. Down it goes. And goodbye, my friend. That's a three-star in the bag for Warble 3.0.
3.0. <laughs> that means his third account. He just changed his name, and we're all sort of giving him a hard time. All right, and then his last one, five, number five, yeah. So it was late. So interesting. This is the one I'm talking about with this jump, I'm pretty sure. Uh, he uses the jump really early, and the wall record gets him more value than I think he gives it credit for. Uh, so you're going to see this big wall again, standard. Giants, witches, sprinkle some molars, get that core gutted out with the wall wrecker, protect the wall wrecker, get it in deep, open up the base. Spells on point, that's about it, right? So go ahead and drop that freeze again to protect the wall wrecker. First rage goes down, get the bowlers in there. Bowlers are just going to start crushing stuff. So you're going to see, I think he drops the jump here. Where is it? Yeah, there goes the jump. But the wall record still is full health. So I don't think he meant to do that. If he had, if he'd used the jump sort of over this back end, it would have made this go a lot cleaner. Didn't really need it though. So you're gonna see him sort of just absolutely start crushing this base with that other rage down. Everything's gonna start getting smashed. Defensive king, goodbye, almost one shot by all those bowlers. Get that wizard tower. Things are looking good. Bowlers moving into the base, just crushing those walls with a bunch of bowlers under rage. Down goes the Inferno. Really, a couple Teslas on the outside. Wizard Town on the outside is a little bit problematic. Doesn't really matter at this point. Far too much stuff to go. Queen's going to step up and bust that wall. All move around. Everything's targetable from that outside. Late with the six. And like I said, our 11v11 game was on point with these bitch attacks. Absolutely crushing it. Nice job. All right, so that'll about do it. Um, great war. Thanks for the comments. Appreciate it. Again, Noah, it's 12 12 Pred with an 85. SG, smash. Smash with the 99. I think I watched this one live, actually. Oh, heartbreaker. Tough one. Oh, well, is what it is. Predominance, thank you for the war. Uh, 2.0, always a pleasure to watch you guys' attacks. You guys are just absolutely killing it. Just a uh, pleasure to be back hanging with you guys. Um, and constantly learning, and I, I think I'm making improvements. We'll see. We'll see. I'm really loving this ice switch. So uh, that'll do it here, guys, for your wisdom from Wiser. Until next time, I'm out.